Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, we have the brand new One UI 8 Beta number 3. You can see it is showing up right over here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra running One UI 8 software. So let's see what's going on over here. So I'm going to tap on open. All right, and we do have a change log. Now this is the version that's going to be One UI 8 ending in ZYFA. And if you do scroll down, we do have a lengthy change log. Now before I look at this, I do want to scroll down and show you guys that this is a significantly large update. It is over one gigabytes. It does have the latest security patch. That's the version number and you can see One UI 8, Android 16. Now if I tap on app updates, all these apps are going to update automatically as you can see with the latest One UI 8 elements. And also if I go up over here, you can see we have a bunch of bug fixes. But you can see they fixed the overlap issue on the status bar, which made things look funny. They fixed an issue with the keyboard input. When you were using the swipe to type functionality on the keyboard, that has been fixed. There was some errors, some S Pen fixes and all that stuff. Now these are just bug fixes, important, but they're not new features. But let's update and we'll be right back to see the performance of this build, beta number three. We'll be right back. Real quick guys, before we move on, Samsung is running a $5,000 giveaway that you can enter for free as part of their reserve campaign. So all you want to do to enter the giveaway is click the link down below. You're going to be at this website. You can see $5,000. That will be a Samsung credit. So if you win, you can use it to buy anything from Samsung store or website. There's eight days left. All you do is you scroll down. You put your first name, last name, email. Check this box that you want to enter. Answer these two questions and simply click reserve now. This will also reserve a $50 Samsung credit and up to $1,000. $150 in additional savings. Again, there's no obligation to buy. Entry is completely free. So tap on reserve now. You'll get the email confirmation. You'll be good to go. Link's going to be down below. All right, so we're back. And I do want to let you know, if you do want to experience One UI 8 Beta, you do want to go into the Samsung Members Applications, which is pre-installed on most Samsung phones. So you tap on that one. And what you would do is either you will look to the top over here, or you can just scroll down and you'll see the beta program here or even at the bottom. It might show up at the bottom, but you'll see this banner. You tap on it, okay, and you're able to tap over here and join. By the way, if I tap over here, it'll probably give me a notice that we did get the third beta right over here with all the details and how to get it, including the change log. So again, if your phone is eligible, which I think right now only the S25 series are eligible, you are able to join and enjoy One UI 8. By this beta, this is the third beta, it is actually pretty stable with minimum errors and bugs. So anyway, let's dive in and see what's up here. All right, so again on this build, if I go to my settings and if I go over to the software update, we don't have any new features, they're not listed here. And I scrub through the interface to see if there was something new, but nothing new. But the big thing with this build is gonna be the stability. Now, for the last couple weeks, I've been running the Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge, but looks like I can now safely switch back to this one because many of the annoying bugs and crashes have been fixed, and I'm sure the battery is going to be fine as well. So we'll see what happens, all right? But overall operation seems smoother, okay? There's less little stutters that I was uh, feeling earlier. So let's launch a couple apps here, see how that feels. The animations are nice on point let's tap on this one all right so that is great we have the now bar on the top running like a champion so that is great but yeah and of course we do have i forgot to mention we do have updated security so if i go to about phone and if i go to soccer information we do have updated security to june which was the case before but now we have even more patches that were applied to this phone we're actually starting july so we're going to get even more uh, but if I go to Samsung, you can see we have all these high-level security patches that were fixed for this phone as well. So that's fantastic news. So again, unfortunately, we don't have any new features. But beyond that, the build is extremely stable. And I think you can run this as your daily as of now. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below.